So I thought I would continue the tradition of manifestation, law of attraction chats on I create my own reality. <laughs> just rented this place called Villa Infinity in Bingen. We're gonna be here for the next five days and I am so excited. Check this out, I'm gonna do a little tour. So, we have our workstation here, so we're going to be working on some new projects. We have kitchen here. Will we be cooking? No. Okay. <laughs> Over here, we have the living space. We also bought some good books, so. If you want some book recommendations, you guys know the deal. And I create my own reality. We're always recommending books. This is a book I always recommend. This is the Bible. This is the Bible. I've read this book like 10 times. So this is Ryan Tracy, Maximum Achievement. And we're also reading this one. This is The Art of the Gathering. Sol's actually reading this one. Yeah, this book is really amazing. It's all about how to bring people together with a purpose. And it's uh, giving us a lot of great ideas for the upcoming retreats. Yeah. By the way, we're currently planning our Mykonos retreat, which is happening in September. So very excited about that. We'll have a link down below in the description sure. box if you want to come. But, but this is the this is the main attraction. Oh, we, my gosh! Look at this. This is actually where we stayed last week, <laughs> two weeks ago, next door. Look at this. Wow. We're definitely planning to have a wine here later on. But we'll show you upstairs. There's a nice mezzanine up here. This is the view from the bed. When they say it's time to check out, I, I might just be like squatters right. <laughs> <laughs> so we got our bed here. Got a little living space there. And then the bathroom, check this one out. So nice. I haven't seen this yet. Oh wow. Oh wow. The window. Like most of the places in Bingen are pretty old and traditional and wood and mosquitoes. Yeah. And then this is just like, Crazy. what is going on? And then I'll show you the other little bedroom. The second bedroom in here. Nice. And then put your stuff away too. Nice. Oh, Wife wow. me. Yeah. <laughs> Doing it. <laughs> in process. Oh. And then you have this little bathroom. Amazing. <laughs> I actually brought my computer screen because my laptop screen is broken and uh, we have a lot of amazing yeah, projects to work on. Yeah, a lot of big stuff to work on right yeah, now. Yeah, very exciting though. With yeah. this view, pretty hard to beat. Hello. So I thought I would continue the tradition of manifestation, law of attraction chats on I create my own reality. I think we're like three weeks into just straight talking about manifestation every single week. Well, it's a fascinating topic, <laughs> you know? It's, uh, yeah, it's I can't, I can't think of anything that's more fascinating than affecting your reality like magic through the power of your thoughts. Yeah. Like, what? So something that Sol and I have been doing a lot lately is we have really been training ourselves to embody or in Sol's words, be who it is we want to be, yeah. who it is we want to evolve into. Be as you wish to seem. Yeah, it's a beautiful quote. And I use that quote in a different way. I always say like embody as you wish to seem. And I think it's so important to look at your life and look at what's going on in your life and ask yourself like, am I showing up as the ideal version of myself? Yeah. And something that Sol and I have really been talking about a lot lately is how we need to rest more and relax more and yeah. take more time off and I know we live in Bali and we live in this big beautiful house and all that sort of stuff but we're working non-stop non -stop. Most <laughs> a, of the time. a large majority of the time too and, much to be honest and we haven't actually like something that we you know we're learning to do more is you know it's crazy I feel like you get used to just kind of being in this like flow of like working all the time well, you get used to anything doing you know? all the things it's so important to look at your life, look at what you're doing and ask yourself like what kind of vibratory state are you in 
currently because for us you know we can be you know where we are at home and we've just been realizing that like it's such a beautiful spot but where our vibration sometimes is a little low because yeah. we we have been in the same spot for such a long time so we're trying to just at the moment really focus on vibration and that's something that i would say like look at your own life and ask yourself like what is it that you can do that is going to raise your vibration yeah. it's going to make you feel better going to feel, make you feel more energized i think i think the key there is you know clarity it's like defining who it is that you wish to be in the future and then asking yourself what are the habits what are the ways of thinking talking exercising sitting mm. walking what's what are the attributes of that person so you know the the future version of me the more successful more balanced happier more fit version of me would you know maybe get up in the morning and do 20 push-ups straight away or drink three liters of water a day or read a lot more so it's kind of like you know, start small and then it's, it's all those little, yeah. little changes along the way yeah. that change you from the inside so that then the outside changes thereafter. So, yeah. Yeah. so that's one thing that I would just recommend to you guys, like look at your life, ask yourself, yeah. how can I vibrate in a higher state and then yeah. make little changes to do that. It could be little things, you know, maybe instead of watching an action movie, you watch a documentary, mm -hmm. you know, maybe it's uh, instead of yeah. scrolling the gram, you read, read you know, read articles online about some topic, some on some career that you're trying to get into, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. It's, it's, it's little things that make up the big things. hundred you know? percent. So, yeah. So, oh, yeah. I'm excited to be down mm -hmm. here. Excited to go for a swim. Yeah. So excited to go for a swim. So. This is our little getaway. One of the keys to manifestation is relax and vibration. So that imbalance. imbalance is so important. Your life is always evolving. And if you're not evolving, you're, you're, you're st getting stuck yeah. and stagnating. It's like you're either moving forward and you're growing or you're shrinking and yeah. you're contracting. There's no real middle ground where you just kind of lock in a state of like yeah. neutrality. It doesn't really happen yeah. either. It's up or down, so. One of the great questions for that I would say is like, literally ask yourself am i expanding or contracting like does this yeah. expand me or does this contract you know what i mean and then you just ask yourself like are the things on my to-do list are they expanding me or are they contracting and, me and ask yourself whether the influences that you're allowing in you know like maybe you have influences around you that like you can't do anything about that's one thing but if you are purposefully filling your head with things that are making you contract Correct. Yeah. Like, you know, an example is reading a very biased news source mm -hmm. that's always telling you the horrors or something. Yeah, listening like, to that. Make sure channel. that you're not oh, you're shit. not making yourself contract every day through your actual influential choices, yeah. you know, because there's there's a whole smorgasbord of influences these days online and it's just up to us how we want to use this incredible medium of yeah. the internet. So important too, yeah. you guys know I'm so passionate about digital wellness, like always yeah. audit your information diet because what you consume digitally is literally feeding you every it, it, single it, day, it has a massive impact 100%. on everything. Well, it affects your thinking and yeah. your thinking is what is the difference between whether you love your life or you hate your life or whether you're happy or unhappy or people see you as someone they want to be around or not it's all in your, your way mind. of thinking yeah and so what affects your thinking what you're putting yeah. inside your head digital consumption 100 percent. yeah what you're scrolling it's on the, the ground ultimate ultimate uh you know taking responsibility for your life mm. is really taking responsibility of your thoughts yeah on that note i really want to say exciting news so last i create my own reality episode i asked you guys about a big thing which was should i do my 51 ways to upgrade your vibration series which is 51 videos over 51 days the comments on that video were so amazing like literally everyone said yes and for me i really call it um feeding off people's energy but i did it's such a huge commitment for me to create those 51 videos it's a it's huge for me and my team and my editor um but you know you guys all said that you would watch them and support so i'm definitely going to do it i'm actually going to be doing a little bit of planning it's one of the passion projects i'm working on here so i'm going to be planning those out planning the content out and it's going to be yeah 51 51 days over shelf fox <laughs> <laughs> talking about mindset shit so if you love the i create my own reality manifestation rants then please keep an eye out for the 51 ways to upgrade your vibration i will put a link down below to sign up to get the notification of when that's going out so yeah so excited about that but we're gonna jump off 
Go yep. chill out. I'm going to pour a glass of white wine. Yes, Sauvignon Blanc. A Sauvignon Blanc for the <laughs> sunset. Mm. Raise my vibration. We should play some reggae. Oh, yes, good call. Oh, I've been really loving yeah. reggae music at the moment. Mm. Oh, it's just relaxing. and It's like such a high vibratory like sound to listen to. That's another thing I would say, vibration tip. Be mindful of the music you listen to because some music these days is just like always talking about death, murder, kill, negativity. So find lyrics that are inspiring, that lift you up, that make you feel good. Anyway, enough talking. Time to go watch the sunset. Cheers! Hmm. I just poured myself a glass of wine. We went for a sunset swim. That's why I'm dripping wet. It was so freaking nice though. Um, but yeah, I'm going to sign off the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. And please, 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 if you want to follow me for my 51 ways to upgrade your vibration and have a mind shift and transform your life through this series that I'm going to be doing on my YouTube channel, then there's going to be a link down below. Click that. I'll send out an email when I know the dates and everything. I'm currently planning it all, but yeah. And I really appreciate everyone that watches I Create My Own Reality support. You know, your support with me doing like little projects like this, like it just, it really means a lot to me. So I'm sending you all the love. And don't forget, you create your own reality. So go and make some magic. See you guys soon.